Oh, you know what a rough lock is? A rough lock is when you take a big chain and the both back wheels of your wagon, wagon, you just chain them down, lock them, and you slide it like a sled, and that holds it off the mules. Well, Granddad just got down in the valley and just started the level off in the creek, and Snoop was right behind him, Snoop Kaiser, and his rough lock broke. And he hollered, look out there, here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped, and, and four mules piled on top of those logs, killed two mules. Oh my. And Granddad said it took all the rest of the day to get them up on their feet and get out of there and, you know, get, get straightened up till they, get, they lost the day. But look out, that was, a, that was a joke I've heard all my life. <laughs> look out there, here she comes, and you knew to get out of the way. <laughs> Bob Duncan told me one story about how the young men kind of entertained them. The only thing around them was church on Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. And they church that Sunday right, morning. And uh, they kept a bottle of moonshine underneath the steps of the of the church, and they'd go into church for a while. And every oh, once in a while, they'd have to go out. They'd have to go out to to use the the bathroom bath facilities. Yeah, and get, they'd reach get under there, there to grab a little snort. We well, I told you about that. Uh, those two sweet apple trees there in the field, of yeah. John Cooper. Church used to have tin roof on it, and the boys would get out there and get them sweet apples and throw them on top of that roof, and just scare people to death. Oh. <laughs> we have five, five minutes. We can switch teams. Okay, we can switch teams. Oh, you don't need to unless you're just one more. Oh, the only um, thing talking. that just came to mind. Yeah, just talking is yeah. good. Oh, talking else. is just yeah. yeah. That's what we're doing. Get you guys talking. Yeah. <laughs> is uh, um, Aunt, Aunt Minnie um, grew her own herbs. And I hear that she saved the life of someone who'd been bit by a, a rattlesnake. Copperhead. Copperhead. Yeah. The Kibby boy came in back way back in the hills, and he was supposed to be in him his sister chopping corn on the hillside. And they got to playing like kids will. And he went over and picked up a rock. And when he did, a Copperhead caught him on two fingers. And just bit him on two fingers. Mm -hmm. Well, it was half an hour getting to the store. And Grandma said, you know, better do something now because you get the doctor, he'll be hurting bad. So she took a razor blade and split both of those open and put down a pound of salt, this regular salt, in a whip in a divorce pan, lay his hand in that salt, and then put another pound of salt on top and then covered that with kerosene, mm. packed his hand in kerosene. Wow. She said it turned greenish grass. And they took him on 18 miles to green up the doctor and uh, treated him, gave him a shot. And the doctor said, you know, I don't need to give him anything. He's already... Started taking care of that, right. that kerosene and salt was drawing out the poison, so he's okay. But that, that How did she know to do that? I don't know. I don't know. She just used a lot of things like that. A lot of babies had croup and she used a lot of kerosene. I've taken I've taken dry sulfur, she'd get me off the end of the knife. They would strangle you to death. Every fall had to eat dry sulfur. <laughs> yeah. Had kerosene too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Car yeah, drop okay, take a, about three drops of kerosene on a little sugar on the end of the spoon. Or turpentine. If you if you claim the bellyache, turpentine was coming right at you. I mean, every time. <laughs> I've had a lot of turpentine. I've had a lot of a lot of sulfur. <laughs> and then they'd burn sulfur in the house. They'd burn on the stove. Supposed to kill diseases and fall. I probably yeah. would. Yeah, really would. But she did a lot of doctoring. Lived a lot of babies, midwives. Because yes. when the creek got up, doctors couldn't get there. And you know you, they don't wait on you, so you have to do something. So she delivered a lot of babies and laid out a lot of people who died. Did they, um, when a person would die, would they um, dress them? I mean, would they? They lay them on. They take a door down in the house. Take a door down, lay it on like a table, and, and lay them on the door, and then clean them, yeah. wash them, and then dress them. But they would not inject any. Uh, no, no, no. Any, uh, there was no uh, formaldehyde used. Uh, so they would have to bury them very quickly. Yes. Now, an art that is unusual too, Grandpa Cooper, Rance, had the art of tolling the bell. The old church had a big bell on top of it. And they said he was the only one in the country could toll the bell. Toll the bell, you only tap one side. You don't hit both sides back and forth. Mm -hmm. You just hit one side. But the bell rolls, you don't, the clapper is not what you move. You lose the bell, the rope on that big pulley. And he had the art of, of tolling the bell. That's the old poem you remember yeah. we read years ago in school. But he had the art when they'd see a corpse coming toward the store or toward the church from out anywhere they, that he would go and toll the bell. Well, that would be a mournful sound, wouldn't it? Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But he had that art. He knew how to do it. He was always... Another one, Grandpa Cooper, they told him when he was older, a little dog ran up in the churchyard on a Sunday morning and, and bit some kid. 
little feisty dog. He always used the cane, that little cane. He just went pow. That little dog just rolled over a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Left him alone. <laughs> he was quite a character. We through? Uh, it's just about out. Okay. Well, thank you very much, both of you. And George, also. Yeah. Like Get you down just talking to each other. That's that would be that would be, that would be the I best talk too much. Sunny didn't get 